I'm April, I'm the suitcase designer. I help people turn chaos and clutter into functional spaces they love. I'm an expat, but this year I've been living in the States. You've seen me working in my in-laws 100 year old home, but now for my final USA project, I'm going home. In this series, I'll be doing some extreme decluttering and organizing in the house where I was born, helping my parents in the small town of San Angelo, Texas. Today's gonna be the last day of the extreme declutter and organizing portion of this series. And then we're gonna switch gears and do all of the makeovers. Today is Saturday and we're really working with a limited schedule right now. Um, Jackson comes in this afternoon, so we have four hours until he gets here. And then tomorrow we can work about four hours. And then Monday is really our only day to paint all of the spaces in here, get things hung, uh, get things back on the walls and like really finalize those makeovers for them. Today, my only goal is to get this room cleaned up because it has become more of a disaster as we've been going through the entire house. So by the end of today, this room better look like a craft room or, <laughs> or I'm probably gonna go crazy. Let's go. Let me show you what we're working with. In the corner right now, we have a cart full of office supplies and stationery that she's gonna continue decluttering later. We have Christmas stuff. We have more holiday decor that we've been pulling out of all the you know, different corners of the house. It's just been collecting here. So we need to get that all stored today. We have a lot of empty organizers. We have this bookshelf that we really have thinned down on and I don't think it'll be a problem to get that out today. We have more jewelry that we need to put away. Um, and then a lot of this is actually decor that we have been collecting throughout the declutters and putting it all in this room so that we can use it throughout the house. And then the main thing is that we have to get everything off of the walls. A lot of this stuff we are going to just box up and my dad is going to go through it later. But we're going to get it out of here and move it to his office. Yeah, I'm going to start trying to put stuff where I think it's going to go permanently. Wish me luck. Okay, I want this lamp to go over in this corner, which means I'm gonna have to switch all my lamps, okay. And this thing, I'm gonna, I've already cut my leg open once on something in here, so I'm gonna put this up because this is gonna, this is gonna hurt. You guys gotta move too. Gosh, it's so dark everywhere. I'm really tired of not having a light, it sucks. I should probably say, you're probably asking yourself, why are you not opening that window? And that's because the windows are broken. They're going to get all of those replaced, which is going to cost a lot of money, which is another reason why we're doing very minimal changes to all of the rooms because windows are very expensive. So right now, um, we can't open the window, so that's why it's also super dark. But pause for just a second and hear me out really quick. When I have a makeover series on the channel, like this declutter or any of the makeover series that you've watched, I don't charge them for any of my work. So my flights, my accommodation, the work and the time that I spend there, I don't charge them for any of that. So without sponsors on this channel, none of these makeovers would be possible. Having sponsors is huge. With that said, I want to take a quick minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, Vivaya. And this is for my global audience too because they ship around the world. Vivaya is a sustainable footwear and apparel company and they're focused on designing footwear that is comfortable but also cute. All of their shoes have a really timeless, classy look to them. And because they're well-made, it's something that you can have in your closet for years and years, and they're gonna go with everything. This is their most popular shoe, not necessarily in this color. I wanted to go bold, so I did this one. <laughs> what? It's not dinner time, everybody. It's not dinner time. It's just whenever I bring out the microphone for YouTube. <laughs> The whole idea behind these flats is that they are the very first flats that have an athletic shoe feel to them. And it's pretty cool because they're actually machine washable, so it doesn't matter if you get them dirty. You can just throw them 
in the washer like this. They are made from yarn that is made from recycled plastic bottles. And overall, they're very environmentally conscious. Even the insoles are sourced so that they have a lower environmental impact. And the outer soles are made from carbon-free material. They have more shoes. These are just the ones I picked. Um, these have a very streamlined look to them with a wider toe box, but they also work if you have a narrow foot. I have a narrow foot, but you still don't want like your toes, you know, jammed in the top of your shoe. That's never fun, but these have a wider toe box, so there's no toe discomfort. They're super breathable and they have an antibacterial sole, so your feet aren't going to get smelly or sweaty. I wanted something to spice up all the black that I typically wear, and I think these are super fun. It's kind of like the adult edition of the skater vans. Check shoes that I wore whenever I was in high school, which we're actually going to visit my high school in this episode, so stay tuned. And then I also wanted to get something that was a little dressier, so I went with their heels. They're also super comfortable. I like that you can dress them up or dress... <laughs> All of these are super lightweight, which is really great for traveling. And I'm definitely gonna pack these as we start preparing for our next declutter series. We've got a beach series coming up. It's gonna be so fun, but um, I tend to overpack my suitcase. So having something that's lightweight and easy to pack is <laughs> very important. After this video, you should go check out Vivaya's website, which I will link for you down below. And I have a discount code for you guys. Thank you, Vivaya, for sponsoring an episode of our Extreme Declutter series, but now we need to get back to work. Were you a Longa Burger fan if you didn't have these books? I totally forgot about these. Also, let's take one moment to read over my Christmas list from <clears throat> the early 90s. April's Christmas list. Barbie McDonald playset. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? Grape Escape. Barbie Dreamboat set. I don't recall ever getting that from Santa. Littlest Pet Shop Pet Care Center. A uh, warm-up set. Hot pink, matching jacket, matching pants. Aladdin calendar, stirrup pants. Those were awesome. Really a game changer. We should bring back the stirrup pants. Button sweater and Polly Pocket. Okay, let's go back to work. Because I'm the space maker, I have made room in that back closet. There's really nothing in there. Um, just the pictures that they're going to still need to go through. So I'm gonna put this bad boy in the closet if I can. Very heavy. She's also gonna hopefully send out some of these cards. And I told her she needs to write a card a day. Maybe 10 to catch up. Okay, this one. Yeah. No. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Oh. Photos, everything here. Come on, Oh yeah, baby. Small spaces, tight spaces. I got the drawers backwards. <sighs> okay. Okay. Got it. Like where I want it to go. Oh, I could just, I know. I just look, this is easier. Nope, I already have that. Okay. Okay. Alright, trying to get the bike where I want the bike to go. And I want the bike to go. Well, where are you going? Right now, my parents are both on different missions. One is painting the bathroom, one is going to get us more bins so that we can actually store the extra holiday stuff we found, and bins to store all of this stuff for a while because it's delicate stuff. And what else? Oh, we gotta get some wall patch because we don't have any here, we forgot about that. And most importantly, they're on the hunt for a white 
ceiling fan. <gasps> the same one, but like in white, like they have in the guest room, because I think that one works perfectly. It really helps to lift the ceiling. Since the bins are on their way to us, I'm gonna go ahead and just move holiday decor back into the living room so that as soon as it gets here, we can box it up and we can store it. I always like to reiterate this in videos because I feel like declutter videos are often associated with minimalism. But the point of this declutter isn't to get down to nothing. I always say that like you have to find what works for you, what's your balance. We have the minimalist scale, we have the maximalist scale. They are more like towards maximalist, like in the middle. They're heading into retirement. They want to enjoy their home and my mom wants to have her craft room and you know just have projects and stuff to do. So we're not trying to get rid of everything. That's that's not the point of these declutters, but they're trying to thin down more so that it's more manageable for them as they get older, um, which I think is something that a lot of you guys can relate to, or maybe you're trying to help your own parents. So if you are helping your own parents, don't make them get rid of everything, even though I've tried. <laughs> okay, but what I wanted to say is, she doesn't want a lot of like holiday stuff because it's just hard to get in and out, but we've had these wreaths. An uncle made these for us whenever we were kids for my mom. And this is just something that it's really easy for her to, she has a hook outside and it's something light and easy that she can hang on our door um, every holiday. So we are thinning down, but we're keeping things that we love. Next, I think we're pretty much finished with getting into this closet for the time being. So I'm gonna start moving all of the decor stuff off this table and all to this one corner. And I put your wheelie cart with all of your cards in the photo closet.
I know it seems a little ridiculous that we're just like moving stuff back and forth, but I think at this point what I'm gonna do is just start kind of boxing it up and leave it for her to go through later. I can tell that my mom is gassed from decluttering. She needs a little break from it. So we are just kind of shuffling things back and forth sometimes, but sometimes that's the best thing to do. Okay, this is the stopping point I got to before we go get Jackson. Um, I just moved all the decor over there. I realized it was better. And then, I mean, there's a lot of floor space now. I got out most of the boxes. And then as we back up, you can kind of see it's starting to look, starting to look like an actual room, <laughs> a happier room. Not something on our to-do list today, but we are painting the bathroom. I thought we could get a whole coat done before we go pick up Jackson. He is about to land in a little over an hour. See how much we can get done, and then if I can come back home, the first coat will be dry, so we can do another coat. It doesn't matter what it says on the label, one coat paint is never just one coat. Never. Never. We're just painting over the door because it's this brown door that has been there since the 80s when they bought the house. They wanna replace them, but it's just not a high priority right now. Like windows for their house is the highest priority. Instead of like keeping it brown, we're just going to paint over it right now and pretend that the door is not there. Uh, and then they're gonna come back and get uniform doors for the whole house. But this is just a very simple solution for right now. And usually there's robes hanging on it anyway, so you never you know, really look at it. back this is from the kitchen all of the mugs we have just a few minutes before we have to get Jackson so we're heading to Lowe's to try and pick out a fan because they didn't have the right one so my dad wants my opinion Oh, is it this one? So in full disclosure, it is now the next day. Jackson got in and when we got home, we're like, let's just stop working for the day. We're all very tired, but we have 45 minutes until we're gonna go meet our family today. So Jackson and I are just gonna try and knock out the bathroom painting. We're gonna finish painting the bathroom in about 45 minutes, but I think with the two of us, we can really knock it out. So let's go. Jackson is here now and I wanted to take him by my old high school just you know so that you could see it. It's a big ass school. It looks like my college campus. <laughs> All 
right now approaching April's Middle School. Look at that! back now we have been working painting here's the update it is a disaster in here with three people working so it's very tight spaces but it's looking good i'm gonna clean up the mirror it's looking so good in here we were a little afraid whenever we first got the wall color up that it was gonna look like super flat and just not like great but now that everything's drying and you can really see the white trim pop another thing that we did is that my mom didn't want to bother with getting new doorknobs because they need to replace the doors later. So like, this is just a hassle, let's do it. And she's also a little frugal sometimes. So when Jax and I were at the store looking for trim paint, I was like, I'm just gonna treat my mom to new doorknobs and not tell her about it. I'm just gonna buy them and install them. So she's gone now and we have taken out the doorknob. We've just got some white paint over there so that we can like quickly install it and just make sure we like it. But those really have not been replaced since the 80s. So do for some new doorknobs. All right, I'm gonna keep painting and try and get as much done while they're gone. Um, please fit. These are the new doorknobs. Got a nice little pull down handle. Cha-ching, cha-ching. It looks oh, good from this side. Yeah. It looks very classy. It does. Wow. That looks nice. Yeah. You, you see the handle? Oh, that looks good. And see, oh, when you painted it, it's, you see it just disappears. I don't think it needs to be white, do you? Not in here, because you're going to have all it's, of your robes yeah, hanging so up tiny. there. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was just... Yeah, but I do like the white plate. We need to touch up the screws. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. That'll be better. All right, so next up is the new um, shower curtain rod that got them. We're gonna do it high, so it kind of elevates the ceiling. That's probably about right, right there. Halfway and then we can tuck it in halfway between yeah. the, the top yeah. and the bottom of the that looks good wait bottom. maybe yeah, it right should go there. down just a little bit more i think go down an inch i think that looks pretty good yeah because you can't see okay let me come mark it It looks so tall in here. What's that? Look, look. Under the window, the mirror frame. Yeah. I think you, you're gonna need it close when you get out of the shower. I think yeah, you want it kind of too close, far. Yeah. So I don't think it should go further. Do you want to bring back any photos on this wall? I was thinking. Well, they worked. They worked well. Oh, you want it up high? Or low? 
like it uh, covered, whatever you want. Yeah, I think kind of in, oh yeah, it doesn't oh, go it straight. Does it go upward? It, it's up on this side over here. But, but if you do that, you can kind of just put it wherever you want yeah. and it stays. I'm not going to give you the full reveal in this video. You have to wait. The shower curtain that we hung up is a game changer. It makes it feel so different. It feels so much better. My only regret is that we didn't change it earlier because I've been using the brown bathroom the whole time and now it feels like light and airy and you actually want to hang out in there. Tomorrow is a massive day. We have so much to get done. It's going to be our very last day, like last full day of working and we have to pretty much paint all of the rooms that you've been seeing. So wish us luck and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.